Hey, how you doing? It's Eric, Garden Fork Eric. One of my favorite tools is an analog sewing machine. My mother-in-law gave this to me and it is amazing. And if you're wondering how to use a sewing machine, do you have one in the basement? Did you see one at a yard sale? Do you want to fix your own clothes? I'm going to show you how today. Ready? Here we go. Pants that need some repair. And normally, you know, would you just go, oh, I'm going to throw these out because they're ripped or I take them to the tailor and get them fixed. But here, you've got this amazing machine, which you can get inexpensively at a yard sale. It's called Eric. Well, yeah, it does help to have Eric in your house too. <laughs> and fix your pants, and then you just save, what, 40 bucks? Right there. 40? How much do these cost? Higher, let's just say higher. Oh, let me just walk you through some of the parts of the machine, and then we'll just start sewing, okay? This is the pedal. This goes down on the floor. It's kind of like a dimmer switch for your lights. It controls the speed of the sewing machine. This plugs into the side of the machine and into the wall. In here is a bobbin. That's the bottom thread that feeds up. This is our needle. There's thread that comes up. Then the needle here, this thread comes from the spool. It goes through quite a, let's just call it a circuitous route. So to thread your machine, um, putting in the bobbin, winding a bobbin, threading the machine, these instructions are beautiful. I think it's from like 1962 or something, but they're really neat. But you can learn how to do it. Each machine is a little different. Each brand is a little different. Hopefully your machine came with instructions. If not, I bet we could find them online. Do you have a source? That would be helpful um, in the comments below. But I don't know, I just, it's analog and I love analog, right? You do. <laughs> Nice light so you can see what you're doing here. I just have a plastic bag full of um, thread, which is really inexpensive. <laughs> it's a little tangled. Oh, it is kind of a tangled mess, isn't it? It's kind of like Eric though, isn't it? And then uh, these pins, you're going to pin your repair fabric to your pants. You, you know, like a whole box of these because you will lose them like I do. And then some spare needles, very inexpensive at the sewing store. But when one breaks, you don't want to have to run to the store, go get one, go get a pack of these, okay? So step one is take your clothes inside out because you're going to put the patch on the inside unless you really want to show everyone your world of patches. This is some spare uh, material from some of my work pants. It's black, it's heavy duty, so I think it works well for patches. So I just have a collection of that's all, patching if you material. you don't mind your patches not matching the rest of your apparel. You're good. These are going to become work pants, okay? Because <laughs> I don't have any faded blue material. Okay? This is going to be a little tough because this is a like a triple seam right here, so it might tax our machine. But I'm going to cut a piece of cloth to fit in there. Who's this? Can I help you? <laughs> are you going to measure? Do we ever measure on Garden Fork? Not well. Oh look, there's that pedal thing. <laughs> Do you need a thimble? Um, no, but I've jammed myself a couple times with the needles. What are these called? Pins. Is it? What? Is it more or less painful than bee sting? Oh, less. There you go. So you go into the cloth you're repairing, back out again, and above the patch like that. Is this like a kind of project you have to devote an afternoon to or just like an hour to? I think if you have all the material, this will take us less than an hour, um, besides my joking. So I've got this, this is the outside view and you can see, you're gonna see a little bit of the black, but I'm gonna run the sewing machine around here and do this repair. We'll trim off these threads and um, be a nice pair of work pants. So you, this is your um, the width of your what's it called, thread, sewing pattern, uh, stitch pattern. And I like to pick the wide one. Why? Um, it just feels better. If you have an opinion about the stitch pattern, let me know, because I just think the zigzag, the wider, has a better grip on the cloth, but maybe... It just looks like you, you did more. It just seems like it works <laughs> better, but if you have an idea about this, let me know. It works for me, but 
maybe there's a better idea that you know about and I would love to hear about that, so. How's this going? <laughs> so this is where all the business happens. The bobbin with the bottom thread is in here and that is threaded through a hole here. Your instructions will say how to do that. And that string comes out the back of the machine here. Yeah. What's really handy with this machine is this pops out. Oh, it gives you more space. And it gives you more space, and then we can push this onto here. It makes it much easier to work with when you're doing sleeves or legs of things. So again, the thread is to the back, and then there's a lever in the back here and I push it down. So this lever puts the foot down like that. And now we're ready to sew. I'm gonna start and then immediately I'm gonna press the reverse button. I'm gonna reverse and then go forward again. So what that does is it secures the thread so you don't have a loose thread at the end that unthreads the whole thing where forward, back, forward again, we're sewing over the original thread and locking it down to the cloth. Reinforcing. Reinforcing, it's a good word. I learned this all, my mom taught me how to sew, pretty amazing. Thanks, mom. Can you go right over those pins? Yeah, that's the beauty of the sewing pins is they're thin and um, you can run right over them. Some, every once in a while you'll break a needle, but that happens. So I am at the end of the patch and I need to turn, right? So I'm gonna lift up the foot. With that lever? Right, and notice the needle is going through the cloth. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I'm gonna lift up the foot, but the needle is all the way down. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Is all the way down. I lift up the foot. Uh -huh. That needle holds everything in place uh -huh. and I turn it this way. So we've made our turn. And then see the needle isn't all the way down. So if I turn this knob, that moves up and down. So I wanna push it all the way down so it's gonna hold the cloth in. Lift up our foot and turn this. And you can see how this'll, um, this'll easily bunch up. So this is kind of the struggle of repairing pants. So we're ready to do the next side. This is not gonna be perfect, but. And then you help the cloth go through. And then that is stays down like that. Flip this up. So you can see with like, you know, you're kind of having to wrestle around a lot of the cloth here. So this patch may not be perfect, but it'll make the clothing serviceable again. That's really not much quieter. <laughs> so I put the foot down again. Yep. And then we, we're going to, this is our last turn. We've done a square here. We're gonna finish over that thread there. Okay, now we're going to do the reverse again. F reverse, and then forward again, and then we lift up the foot, and then we lift up the needle as well. Yeah. I'm pulling the thread out of the, giving some slack so I can get this out of here. Yeah. Cut the top thread. So we've sewed a rectangle patch, and then this is the outside, and ah. <laughs> All right, it needs a little work. The whole idea here is for you to go out and do cool stuff. You can do this. If you have some suggestions for me, let me know, okay? I, I made a dog bed with the sewing machine. Uh, I repaired some of my work pants with the sewing machine. There's just some videos right here all about that. But let me know how I can be better, because I always learn from you. All right, go out and do cool stuff. I'll see you later.